beautiful soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, Mercury goes direct. Yeah, baby. Plus, we have Mars going into saucy, intense, and very ambitious Scorpio. But the best news of all, potentially, is that Venus and Jupiter are forming great magic in our love and passion life. Hello beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? I bring tidings of joy again, yeah baby. Things are looking up. You may have had a really difficult time. There may have been unpredictable conversations. People like sort of be, appearing to be irrational. You may have been irrational. And it was like, rah, what's going on? It all falls a bit out of control. And that's because Mercury was retrograde in your ninth house. So it's all very predict unpredictable. It's all very kind of maybe people speaking the truth harshly. Maybe you were supposed to travel and it all went tits up. It's just, it's not been very clear for you, but now you're getting your power back in that area. Mars, the planet of action, is filling you with a desire to be adventurous and, and to speak your truth and to express your unique soul. Mercury is going direct. Okay, it's in shadow. So it does, it tapers off. It isn't just like, boom, that's it. We're all in the clear. Couple of weeks and you'll be fine, but it's lifting. You feel the energy lifting. You're feeling more confident about your beautiful self and you're ready for action and you're ready to just be brave. Then we have the sun shifting signs and it's really, really shining a wonderful light on your career and you're feeling optimistic about what you're doing when it comes to your career. If you want to make a change, you're optimistic about change, but you're like, yes, I know what I'm doing. And there is a fabulous Venus and Jupiter conjunction. This is really big news and it's really amazing news and that's on the 24th. And there's some revelation coming to you about what you love, who you love, and also about you just opening up to, to new experiences. There may be some really wonderful news connected to you, you or a partner. If you're single, it's a great time to get out there and say, bring me the right love for me. But you're generally optimistic and feeling fabulous. And also, Venus is not just the planet of love, she's the planet of abundance, and she's in your 10th house of career. So there could be some excellent news around your career too. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Pisces, my lovely, wondrous, magical Pisces. Let's see what the cards hold in store for you this week. Obviously, it's not gonna be for everyone. It could be synchronicity that the magic occurs for you or use your intuition to see if it feels right uh, or just learn from the wisdom of the magic of the cards. First card, the Queen of Wands. There's a fire sign around you that may be bringing you great pleasure or maybe a positive influence. There's some good friendships around you this week that makes your heart sing and your emotional cup run over with pleasure. There's a healing going on around you and you're building up some new foundations this week. Emotional strength and, you know, starting again from a, from a great space and having the courage and the support around you to go after your dreams. These are great cards. I wish it for you. I send you so much love. Remember how powerful you are and that your gentleness is power. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. People often say, Michelle, can I have a personal reading? I'm not doing them at the moment, but I have a fabulous team of psychics and I'm gonna to start to introduce them. Here's my wonderful psychic, Seven. Hi, I'm Seven, a spiritual medium psychic. When I'm communicating messages from, from spirit to you, I'm also looking at the, the evolution of where you're going in, in your life, in your journey. I'm answering questions, but then also looking at the wider reasoning around what's happening as well. What I always do is give the truth because I'm giving the information that's coming through for me. And so sometimes that comes across to some people that could be quite harsh or they want me to change information. That's not what this is about. This is about what's coming through from spirit. But ultimately a reading with me is there to help. Most of the time I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself as in seven giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. This work is incredible, it's joyful, it means so much that I'm able to give that gift to somebody that ultimately is going to better their, their life. 